Hello everyone, in this video the topic covered is inverse proportion. The types of inverse proportion, graphic, normal and algebraic proportion. Graphic, here's a graph that shows inverse proportion. To explain how a graph shows inverse proportion, you would have to say, as one value increases, the other decreases, the curve doesn't intercept any axis. For example, this graph, as I said before, is inversely proportional. Normal inverse proportion. This is the rule for inverse proportion. Times for one and divide for all. For example, it takes two builders four days to complete a wall. Work out how many days it will take one builder to complete the same wall. Two painters equals to four days. One painter equals to question mark number of days. Since it's times for one, you have to times the number of builders or painters or whatever it is by the num by the number of days so there will be two times four which is eight which means that the number of days it takes is eight days algebraic this symbol means is proportional to y is proportional to one over x means that y is inversely proportional to x y is proportional to one over x squared means that y is inversely proportional to x squared y is proportional to 1 over x cubed means that y is inversely proportional to x cubed and y is proportional to 1 over the square roots of x which means that y is inversely proportional to the square root of x y is proportional to 1 over x can be written as y equals k over x y is proportional to 1 over x squared can be written as y equals k over x squared y is proportional to 1 over x cubed can be written in as y equals k over x cubed and y is proportional to 1 over the square root of x can be written as y equals k over the square root of x. k is called the constant of proportionality. Exam question. y is inversely proportional to x. When x is 4, y is equal to 15. Find y when x is equal to 12. First, write a formula for y in terms of x. This is this shows that y is proportional to 1 over x, which is converted to the equation form of y equals k over x. Input the values from the question into the equation. So 15 equals to k over 4. Rearrange the formula to have k on its own. So k equals 15 times 4. So k is equal to 60. You input the new values into the equation to find out y when x is equal to 12 y is equal to 60 over 12 which is 5 so y is equal to 5 i hope you found that useful please click on the subscribe and bell buttons for more content from this channel and please feel free to share thank you for your time